beautiful people and welcome. In today's video, we will be discussing how to add integers, what integers are, and the rules that are part of adding integers. As always, if you catch a mistake or you find a mistake, please let me know where the mistake occurs so that way we both can learn from my mistake. If you hear any noise in the background, I apologize in advance. All right, let's get started. So adding integers, what are integers? So integers, Uh, they are a set which contains positive numbers negative numbers and zero so when you're thinking of integers think about all of the numbers On a number line. And so that way it can help you figure out what integers are. So you might see a question on the uh, assessment or an exit ticket that says, hey, is five an integer? And you're gonna have to tell me is that a true or a false statement? Now on a number line, you sometimes will notice like decimals or fractions. So we're talking about all of the whole numbers on a number line, okay? So positive whole numbers, negative whole numbers, and zero. So no decimals, no fractions, just whole numbers that happen to be positive, that happen to be negative, and zero is in that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our rules. So we definitely need to establish what they are if we're gonna, you know, continue playing the game. All right, on here, we're gonna write, this is the definition. Here we're gonna say, this is our rules. So the first rule is that if the signs are the same add the numbers together and keep together and keep the same sign. For example, if we have a positive value plus a negative value, oh, excuse me, positive plus a positive value, let me change this color so that way it stands out a little bit more. So again, so we're adding, that didn't help a lot. Let's try a darker color. There it goes, okay. So this is what we're given. We're giving a plus, we're adding these two, they have the same sign. So you're going to add the numbers together and then keep the same sign. So. Any time you have two positives, your answers are going to be positive. This is when you're adding them. This is important when you're adding them. Any time that you have two negatives and you are adding these two negatives, your answer is always going to be a negative. Again, this is only when you're adding them. So whenever the signs are the same, both positive or both the negative, you're gonna add the numbers together. So whatever the numeric value is, you're gonna add those together and keep the same sign. We're gonna do a bunch of different examples, but I just wanna list out the rules since we have our key right here, rule. Uh, rule number two. If the signs are different,
you can subtract the numbers and use the sign of the different number. So I'm going to do this differently. You can option number one. You can use counters or a number line if the numbers are small enough or option two. You're going to subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger number. Okay, so let's do examples. Let's review these rules again. If the signs are the same, you're going to add them, keep the same sign. Add them, keep the same sign. If they are different, you're either going to use counters or a number line if the numbers are small to figure out what it is, or you're going to subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger number. So when you are doing the counters and number line, you are looking for... zero pairs. When you're subtracting the numbers and using the sign of larger number, that's a little bit of a cheater way. Uh, what you're doing with that is also creating zero, uh, excuse me, yeah, you're also creating zero pairs, but you just don't see it. All right, let's do some examples. Let's do something with the same sign. So let's do three plus six. And I know that's, that's a little bit basic, but that's okay. So using your fingers, let's do counters because that wasn't one of the methods. This is positive, this is a positive six. So I'm gonna show you that you can use counters for this as well. So you, what do you have? You have three positives, one, two, three. What do you have? You have six positives, one, two, three, four, five, six. What do you have in total? Since we're adding them together, we're creating a sum. So what is the total sum? Well, we have six, seven, eight, nine. We added them together. We kept the same sign. Let's do another example. Let's do something with both negatives. So negative seven plus negative I don't know, two. We're going to add the numbers together, keep the same sign, but I'm gonna show you using counters. So what do I have? I have seven negatives. What do I have? I have two negatives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. What am I doing with that? I'm creating a sum or I'm adding them together. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, but what do I have? I added them together, but I need to keep the original sign. So the original sign is both of them are negative, therefore my answer is negative. If you are using counters, then you can visually see that only, the only thing you have is minus this, therefore your answer has to be minus. All right, so we did an example one and example two of rule number one, which states if you have the same sign on both numbers, keep it, add it, and you have your answer. All right, let's try example number four, excuse me, example number three, where our signs are different. So let's do negative 13 plus 14. What is that equal to? Again, you can choose either method. If your numbers are small, I recommend using counters. If your numbers are big, I recommend using the other method, but I'm gonna do both methods for this example. Okay, the first example is using counters or a number line. I prefer counters instead of a number line, so 13 is not that bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
I have 13 negatives. Do you see this? 13 negatives. So I'm putting minuses here. Now what do I have? I have 14. 14 is what? 14 is positive. You're looking at the sign in front of it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So what do I do with this? What do we do with this information? So we, we draw a bunch of negatives and we draw a bunch of positives. Then what? Okay, this is where it gets a little fun. Our objective, if you look back here, our objective is to find zero pairs. Remember, what is, the, what is a zero pair from our previous lesson? A zero pair is where you have a positive and one negative grouped together, and you can group them as long as they're just numbers, and that equals to zero. That cancels out. So let's see here. Do you see how there's a bunch of negatives and a bunch of positives? Well, let's group them. I'm going to say here's one negative, one positive. That goes away. One negative, one positive. That goes away. One negative, one positive. Zero pair. Negative, positive. Zero pair. One negative, one positive. Zero pair. One negative, one positive. Zero pair. And you just keep doing that. One negative, one positive. Zero pair. One positive, one negative. Zero pair. One positive, one negative, 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 zero pair. So what is left over? This right here is left over. So what is your answer? Your answer is one, but one what? You have to tell me what the sign is. So one, this is a plus, so one positive. Now, mathematicians are what? We're lazy. So because we have a positive value and there's nothing else to it, it is okay to just write one. By not writing a negative sign, we are always going to assume that that is a positive value. Now let's quickly do the other one, the other method, and that is where you subtract the two numbers and then use the sign of the larger number. Now, you're not gonna subtract 13 and 14. You're gonna subtra subtract 14 and 13. You're always going to want to subtract the larger number. Uh, you always want to, excuse me, you always want to start out with the larger number and then subtract the smaller one. So, this is option two. So you have 14 minus 13, that is one. Again, be careful, you're not done. Which number had more? And what I mean by that is more positives or more negatives. So I have 13 negatives, but I have 14 positives. So which number had more? 14 had more. How much more? One positive. So again, you can put that one there or you can omit it. Just be careful because writing this plus here is okay, but it's not like your final answer. So make sure that when you are writing your final answer, you either write it straight here, don't leave it in this format. Just one. Let's do another example. All right, example four. So let's do, oh, I don't know. Let's do 28 plus a negative 11. Again, let's just choose option number two, since I'm kind of getting a little lazy and not wanting to draw my zero pairs, excuse me, not wanting to draw my positives and negatives, and then also zero pairs. So what are we doing? We're taking the bigger number, subtracting the smaller number, uh, eight take away one is seven, two take away one is one, 17 again, which one has more? Do I have more negatives or do I have more positive? I have 28 positives, but I have 11 negatives, so definitely positive. If you are in my class, I am okay if you put a positive to just really show me that you know that this is a positive 17 instead of a negative 17. Let's try one more. 
Uh, let's do something a little bit more difficult. Yeah, let's do this one. I have negative 123 plus negative 140. So what would that equal to us? I'm noticing the first thing is I have a negative and I have a negative. Since my signs are the same, that means my answer is going to be negative as well. So what do we do with the actual numbers? Well, we add them. So I have three, three plus zero is three, two plus four, I always count up, so I have four, five, six, I have one plus one is two, so 263. All right, you guys, these are your rules for adding integers. Again, integers are numbers, or positive numbers, are negative numbers, zero is an integer. All right, it, but they are whole numbers. Rule number one is if the signs are the same, both positive or both negative, just add the numerical values together. And then if they are both negative, you keep the negative. If they are both positive, you keep the positive. If the signs are different, so for example, the signs are different. If you have a positive plus a negative or a negative plus a positive, if that's the case, you have option number one, or option number two, if the numbers are small, just use counters. Uh, if the numbers are a little bit larger, don't waste your time with counters or number line. Option number two is subtract the numbers and use the sign of the larger number. Now, when you subtract, subtract the big number minus the smaller number. You're gonna get a value then you have to check if you had more positives or negatives. Oh, you can't see that. I apologize. In your question. All right, guys, this wraps up this video. I hope that you have learned a ton of new information. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you caught a mistake, just let me know where the mistake occurs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you, and take care.